For the next two nights, we will be staying at this exclusive and fully renovated all-inclusive beachfront resort, Paradisus Palma Real, Melia Hotel's flagship property in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Something happened during our stay that almost ruined our experience, so stay tuned for that. Getting there from our home in Santo Domingo is pretty straightforward via the Coral Highway. It took us just shy of three hours to arrive at the Melia Complex in Bávaro, Punta Cana. If you're coming by plane, the complex is 23 minutes away by car from the Punta Cana International Airport. The check-in process was super easy. Barely an inconvenience. And we were assigned room 1104 but had to wait until 3 p.m., the official check-in time to enter our room. We like to arrive early at hotels to avoid busy checking lines. Sometimes we get lucky and our room is ready, but most of the time we have to kill some time until check-in. Some all-inclusive resorts require you to make reservations to dine at specialty restaurants, and the Paradisus is one of them. We went straight to make our dinner reservation and chose the Italian restaurant for our first night. We then headed to the lobby bar where I did my world-famous piña colada taste test, and by world famous, I mean in my own head. I give this piña colada a C. The lunch buffet was in the Malva restaurant by the main pool, instead of the bigger The Lunch Box restaurant, closed during our stay due to low occupancy. The variety of the buffet was good despite its small size. I found the food okay, while John found it a tad below average. The restaurant was comfortable and had a beautiful view. After lunch, we went to Kicks Sports Bar to rest for a bit. The volume of the Rugby World Cup on the TVs was so loud, we didn't think we'd be able to relax. But, as you can see, we did. Plus, I learned that the top two countries in rugby were Ireland and South Africa, so there's that. After a game of pool, which I can very humbly say I utterly and unequivocally dominated, we went exploring to get to know the property. After getting to know the layout of the hotel, we went to our room, which was now ready. We stayed in a junior suite garden view room on the adults-only side and paid $522 plus 3,600 Melia reward points for the two of us for two nights. All the rooms were recently renovated, and it shows. In general, the room was modern, chic, and perfectly maintained. It has an open space layout, and lace curtains separate the bathroom area from the rest of the room. We've only had this open room layout in the Live Aqua Resort, and we didn't like it much. However, we felt comfortable in this room. The lace curtains, while thin and see-through, provided enough of a barrier to feel privacy in the bathroom area, and a solid door shut off the toilet from the rest of the room, which is the most crucial factor privacy-wise. The bathroom is spacious and well illuminated. There are double vanities, which we prefer, and both a standing shower and a gorgeous white bathtub that gives the bathroom a luxury feel. Next to the bathroom, you'll find the closet with lace curtains for doors. Inside are standard amenities like an umbrella, laundry bag, bathrobes and slippers, and beach towels. Also, a steam iron and a hair dryer. Between the bathroom and the bedroom, there's a dresser slash workstation. This area feels like no man's land and we didn't use it. The bed was facing the balcony, but the Paradisus found a clever way to have the TV in front of the bed nevertheless. The TV is on a swivel stand that can face the bed or the seating area, or can be moved out of the way entirely. It's not the prettiest design, but it gets the job done. The bed was big and comfortable, but it nearly ruined our stay when we discovered something later that night. The room had many available outlets and USB ports. The sofa was clean and comfortable. The coffee station next to the seating area had an espresso machine, which we're seeing more and more in Punta Cana resorts, and we like it. The mini bar was well stocked with four cans of local and imported beer, two juice boxes, six soda bottles, two sparkling waters, and four mineral waters. On top of the mini bar, you'll find the safe. The room's lighting was great, and the AC worked very well, as it kept the room super cold, just as we like it. The balcony was small, with basic furniture, and a not-so-great view. 
After leaving our luggage in the room, we went to the adults only pool on the right side of the hotel near the spa. This pool is big and beautiful. It was built as part of the renovations, but details in the construction finishing made us doubt that the pool was new. Nevertheless, overall, it is a nice pool. One thing that turned us off a bit was that the staff did not enforce the adults only rule. There's a weight bar so you can spend hours in the pool without the need to get out, which is precisely what we did. After a few hours, we returned to Ginger's signature bar in the lobby, which doubles as a coffee shop to get snacks. We loved the decoration of this area, the seating was comfy and the coffee and snacks were good. We found ourselves here repeatedly throughout our stay. We headed down to the beach in the late afternoon to relax before dinner. There was no seaweed on the sand, but you could see some making its way to the shore. There's a seaweed barrier in this section of the beach, so we'll see how well it catches it in the morning. Our dinner reservation was for 7.30 at the Italian restaurant Mas Calzone. The restaurant was cute and petite. We particularly enjoyed the house wine and the pistachio cake with ice cream for dessert. The rest of our meal could have been better. For a specialty restaurant, the food tasted too similar to the buffet. The night entertainment had a Dominican theme, and there were many souvenir stands selling local goods where we ran into this uncanny portrait of Johnson. He says he doesn't see the resemblance, but hey, to each his own. The Paradisus Palma Real has no nightclub or theater, so the night entertainment takes place in the central promenade. A band played merengue, bachata, and salsa, while some staff members dance dressed in typical carnival costumes. After the band finished playing, people went into the sports bar to hang out. This same dynamic repeated on our second night. Back in our room, the bad thing we've been teasing about happened. We noticed a bad smell in our bed sheets. Nothing too offensive, but enough to be uncomfortable. We figured the sheets didn't dry all the way through and smelled a bit damp. We went to sleep and the smell was worse in the morning. We removed all the sheets and left them aside with a note for them to please be changed. But then we realized it was the mattress that stunk. We went to guest services to notify them about this, and the response was swift. They changed the mattress, the cover, and all the bedding. Bad things happen, but what matters most is how it gets resolved. We were delighted with how quickly and thoroughly they resolved this issue that could have ruined the rest of our stay. That morning, we squeezed in our workout routine in the hotel's gym. It's medium-sized and has a good variety of equipment. After a great breakfast at the Malba Buffet, we walked to the left side of the hotel where we had seen many pools the day before. One of them is exclusive for Circle members, the Melia Membership Program. This side of the hotel has six other pools for the swim-up rooms. We were unclear if regular guests like ourselves had access to these pools as we received contradictory information during our stay. On the right side of the hotel are three more pools, one of which is the adults-only one we swam in the day before. The other two are exclusive for guests of the reserve, which is an upgrade over the regular guest status. This left us with one available pool we hadn't swum in, the central pool. This pool segregation made us feel we were paying for a third of the resort. We understand upgrades and memberships, but we think they went too far in this case. They do a fairer job with the restaurants, where only two out of six restaurants are exclusive for the reserve and circle. We went in the central pool. It is big and has a nice depth. This pool has not been renovated, and it shows, especially in the jacuzzi sections, which don't work and look very shabby. There's a pool bar with dry and wet sides. Most people were gathered here, and music played constantly, making this the busier and loudest pool. The beach looked gorgeous under the morning sun. Melia's beach section is lovely. The last time we were on this section of the beach, it felt disorganized and looked shabby. This time, the seating area was organized and looked much more inviting. The beach seating areas are divided into different categories. 
families, adults only, reserve guests, and circle members. Cana Beach Club, overlooking the beautiful beach, is a great place to have a snack. They were out of the only vegetarian option on the menu, a fruit platter, but John tried the ceviche and the paella and liked both. We spent the rest of the day in the adults-only pool, our favorite spot in the resort. We bumped into Monique, who recognized us from this channel and stopped to say hello. Hi, Monique! We want to thank you all for supporting this project. Without you, it wouldn't be possible for us to visit these beautiful places and share them with the world. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you. We went to Blue Agave, the Mexican restaurant, for dinner that night. Like in the rest of the resort, the staff was super friendly and attentive. The margaritas were great, and the food was tasty, especially the dessert. John's lamb rack was somewhat overcooked, and the menu didn't have vegetarian options, but they offered me simple but tasty quesadillas. A band played rock music in the promenade, and the vibe was chill. Now, let's give the Paradisus Palma Real an actual rated score. Value for money. For the money we paid, we give it a 20 out of 20. Amenities, 11 out of 20. Food, 9 out of 15. Room, 13 out of 15. Beach, 10 out of 10. Service, 10 out of 10. Drinks, 4 out of 5. Entertainment, 2 out of 5. It does not get any extra credit from John or I, for a total score of 79 out of 110. If you want to see all the restaurants and amenities we didn't get to try, click on this video where we do a full tour of the Paradisus Palma Real.